Hi, my name is Stacia and you're watching Torn Freak TV. Sorry for the long break we took, but we're back and let's start with the news. The Pirate Bay has not been very popular with the Italian government and we all remember the summer of 2008 when the court decided to block the website. The Pirate Bay decided to appeal and the site was unblocked. This week the case went back to court and it was decided that all Italian ISPs will have to deny their customers access to the Pirate Bay website. Pirate Bay's lawyers are considering appealing the case and are even thinking of bringing it before the European Court of Justice. A Dutch anti-piracy group who is responsible for shutting down Elitbit's torrent tracker has been conducting their usual monitoring of file sharing networks and has noticed that a Danish IP address was uploading a screener copy of a movie called Black Balls via the Pirate Bay. The group got the person's identity and his home address and raided his home. Even though the man's hard drive was filled with copyrighted content, one of the anti-piracy group's lawyers said that they do not intend to sue the person to hell since they are nice people, whatever that means. Peter Sunde, who used to be a Pirate Bay spokesperson, has been working on many different projects and one of them is called Flatter. Flatter is a mashup of sites like Dig and Reddit and an online payment service like PayPal. What makes Flatter different is the fact that users of Flatter can set a monthly budget as low as $2 and at the end of the month they share the money with the creators of the content that they have liked. You can give Flatter a try by signing up for a beta account. Here is a video describing Flatter a little better. On the internet, you can create or take part of content. When you create, there's not really a good way to get money for the content. And when you find something you like, there's no good way to show love for it. This problem is universal. For bloggers and their readers, musicians and their listeners, photographers, film creators, programmers, and so on. So we created Flatter to solve this. This is how it works. Every month, the Flatter user pays a small fee. Let's compare it with birthday cake. When you have a cake, you want to give slices to the people you like. Flatter helps you do that. If you've created something, you can add a Flatter button to your content. Or if you find something you like, and there's a Flatter button besides the content, you click it. Each button is a counter showing how many people are willing to give cake for the content. At the end of the month, your cake is sliced in as many pieces as you clicked flatter buttons. Each slice is then given to the correct content creator. If you click 10 buttons, the 10 creators will get a tenth of the cake each. If you click 100 buttons, the 100 creators will get a hundredth of the cake. The slices might be small, but every one's slices will all add up. Or as we say in Sweden, Många bäckar små blir en stor å. As a creator, you will get money you've never got before. As a consumer, you can help creators out with just a small click. If you haven't guessed it, Flatter is a wordplay of flatter and flat rate. With a flat rate fee, you can flatter people. LG is among other things a TV manufacturer whose name stands for Life's Good. They're trying to improve the life of pirates with the release of their new TV sets, which offer USB support allowing consumers to hook up their external drives. Some of the TVs also come with a handy manual which shows that LG is fully aware that people will be using their new TVs for pirated movies. In late 2009, an Australian man decided to upload a new version of the new Super Mario Bros. for Wii on the internet. Nintendo quickly tracked down the uploader and decided to press charges. According to the data collected by Torn Freak, on December 27, 2009, the game was downloaded more than a million times and was a real hit on BitTorrent. Nintendo offered to the man to settle and the man agreed to pay the games giant Nintendo 1.3 million in damages. Let's say you have downloaded a song of your favorite artist from a torrent website and after you feel so guilty that you really just want to give the artist or the rights holder some money. A brand new website called Muzar is trying to make this possible and it all sounds great in theory. Muzar says that the minimum suggested donation is going to be 1 euro, but it makes you wonder why would you want to pay that much when services like iTunes offer it for cheaper. Also, Muzar is trying to bring big labels on board which might turn out tricky since why would labels want another middleman who is taking their percentage and would they really want to invest in something that basically supports piracy after they've been fighting against it for so long? The launch of Muzar is supposed to happen on February 27th and it will be interesting to see if it manages to do what it promises. 
Winter Olympics Games just barely started and NBC's Executive Vice President commented on the Olympics mission by saying, Our aim is to make access to pirated material inconvenient, low quality, and hard to find. It is needless to say that the mission has already failed miserably since the opening ceremony of the Olympics Games has been downloaded more than 5 million times. In 2008, the Olympic Committee was outraged and urged Sweden to take actions against Pirate Bay over Olympic torrents, without results. What we suggest is that they start offering their own sponsored downloads in the future. Large websites like Twitter need thousands of servers to manage the updates that are sent out by millions of users. Twitter's new project under codename Murder is looking for help from BitTorrent to help distribute the files through the server faster and more efficiently. The Murder project is based on the BitTornado BitTorrent client, which was also the first client to implant web seeding. It is still unclear when Murder will be implanted or released to the public, but Twitter is expected to release more details in the upcoming weeks. It's time for our app review. U-Torn has not changed much in the years and I'm really happy to see a new release under the codename Falcon. Falcon is being developed by BitTorrent Incorporated and most of the upcoming features are still being developed but let's look at some. Falcon is supposed to give users access from wherever they are through a simple web interface. Users will not be required to configure their U-Torrents and home networks but they will simply head over to Falcon's website and connect to their client instantly. Another great feature of Falcon is that users will be able to stream video files while they're being downloaded, meaning you will no longer have to wait to watch your files until they've been completed. Falcon will also allow easy sharing. This means that if one of your friends doesn't have a BitTorrent client installed, you can bundle a torrent file together with a uTorrent. You are able to test Falcon by going to their website and applying for a beta test. I would love to tell you more about Falcon, but it did not run on my Windows 7. If you are tired of using torrents and want better speeds and easier access, then I suggest you try Binverse. Torrent Freak TV users get a two-week trial for free and are able to download 10 gigabytes at unlimited speeds and 145 gigabytes at speeds of one megabit. Head over to binverse.com slash offers slash torrentfreak and get your free trial and at the same time help support the production of Torrent Freak TV. So this is it for today. If you have any suggestions or you want to know what we're doing, just follow us on twitter.com slash torrentfreaktv. Until next time, take a look at this free movie you can download off of BitTorrent. I've never seen Ghostbusters. What? I don't know, maybe they have it at like, maybe, I don't know, I would buy it. I would buy another copy just for this occasion. Are you on the line, Sheriff? Sure? Well, it's like a uh, BitTorrent site, you download like movies. And yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. Are you going to see her again? I'm it's honey scared. season, man. It's potent in the air. Oh, you got to right. grab it and grab it. Looking out the windows open, don't know what it's all about. Screams and shouts, I'm in such shit right now. Sleeping with the lights on No 